Hold up, beard. Don't you already have a banana guide? Yup, sure do, friends. But it's on Cave Bananas specifically, and released well before the curse of Moon Key went and tweaked everything. As we've now got bananas on the surface, all new sources and uses for the things, and even a hidden mechanic or two to boot. So, oh yes, the Nanners game has changed. So let us discuss bananas and their banana bushes instead of bananas and their cave banana trees, if you know what I mean. After we actually know where we're going in order to find these unique bananas, as that is. For you see, as said, there's no need to enter the caves anymore, as our destination is on the high seas. The Moon Key Island does generate randomly for sure. However, it is always found near the edges of the world, so once you know and abuse that fact, finding it is not going to be too bad. But here's the thing, yet another recent update or two may have just given us a whole different way of farming bananas on the surface beyond finding this island. And it has to do with hostile flares. With them, we can spawn infinite pirate raids at will. So please bear with me here, as I explain a couple things for a minute. First things first, a major note for today's video so we don't steer too far off path here. Any pirate raid that you encounter can now be repelled by dropping a single banana at the feet of the powder monkeys, so be sure to use that to your advantage moving forward. But secondly, if you are looking to farm these raids, then you will want to read a pirate mate's pirate map in order to help pinpoint the location of a pirate stash that has a 100% chance to drop two to four bananas each and every time we happen to dig one up. And the cherry on top is you might be walking away with a lot of other really good loot too. Especially if it's a loot that's been stolen straight from you. It's not bad. The process is involved, but it's nothing too ridiculous either following the Wickerbottom refresh. Oh, but before we return to the regularly scheduled program here, note that the banana trick doesn't really work on normal powder monkeys found on the island for two reasons. Unless provoked, of course, powder monkeys no longer hurt us when they steal from our inventories, so it don't matter at all. And all they do is gift said bananas to the Moon Key Queen, so we aren't repelling anything. But yes, we are here on this island now and have dealt with the annoying Potter Monkeys in our own ways. What now? Well, why not dig up them banana bushes that we're here for, to then turn around and plant them anywhere you please on any turf you desire. Proceed to fertilize these transplanted bushes, and note how each bush is going to offer 5 to 7 harvests before needing additional fertilization, and then the waiting game begins. Stage 1 of a banana bush will take a full day to complete, as you can see, and the same is actually going to go for both stages 2 and 3, so make note there. But after the 3 day growth cycle is done, every bush you planted is going to provide a single banana for your troubles. And the best part, you ask? These banana bushes do indeed continue their growth cycle all throughout winter. It's good stuff, especially when cave banana trees do not do this. But it gets oh so much better, everyone. Say hello to the unnatural portal once again, as it will once again be our ticket to banana bush galore. Now the thing spits out loot very frequently to begin with, so keep an eye out for bushes. But every day, a portal event's gonna occur that will see a ton of guaranteed loot shoot out of this tear in space and time, and this includes Banana Bush's mind. But reach the end game, and we'll be able to control and force these portal events with Moon Gleams too, so we should have no problem setting up massive banana farms from here on out. Especially if we choose to do some personal tweaking to our unnatural portal loot tables, like seen here. Seriously folks, bananas went from very niche to incredibly abundant and mainstream overnight, so take advantage and I mean well beyond just the basic bananas and their bushes too. Sure, Wormwood loves cooked natters, so he will be benefiting from these fresh banana fields better than most. But with the introduction of a new banana crockpot dish for all, coupled with the old ones, I don't see how anyone can ignore the banana meta nowadays. Banana shakes alone provide 25 hunger, 33 sanity, and 8 health a scoop, with their only downside being that they cost 2 bananas each. Banana pops have always been an amazing dish, with their 12.5 hunger, 20 27.5 for Wendy player's mind, 33 sanity, and 20 health a lick instead, and now they are easier than ever to whip up. But finally, frozen banana daiquiri might at last be a dish that folk not only never forget about completely, but could potentially become an incredibly cheap healing food. 
I mean, 30 whopping health for a chunk of ice, one banana, and some fillers? That's nuts, folks. Maybe even nuttier than Beard actually pronouncing it right for once. But believe it or not, we're not quite done with bananas, everyone. To end the day, let us recall how bananas are now one of our only ways to help stave off or lift the wonky curse in its entirety through trading them with the Moonkey Queen. Not only that, however, doing the exact same thing without a curse in play is also the only way to acquire the blueprints for cannons, cannon balls, docks, dock pillings, and the moon key beach turf. And lastly, doing either of those trades leads to the rite of passage mechanic that allows for safe travel near all powder monkeys in the world for a short period of time, even if we do have stuff for them to steal. So make notes all around. Bananas are more than food. And there you have everyone. Not an addendum to our original banana guide per se, and more just an additive information drop to go right alongside it. As said prior, the banana game has changed. Dramatically at that. Bananas are on the surface anywhere at any time now. Banana crockpot dishes are not only here to blow your mind, but also heal it. And who knows, perhaps a few banana tricks are now up your sleeves. It's amazing stuff all around. And let us remember folks, today was all about surface bananas. Cave bananas are still 100% in play. So if you want to go down to the caves and farm some monkeys to no end, go for it. You want to finagle any cave banana trees down there, go for it. And if you want to smash spoo monkey pods for guaranteed bananas, go for it. Today was about all the information we couldn't talk about before. So hopefully now that we have all of this information, people can truly see just how insane bananas are gonna be. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wish it to all. Beware the inevitable potassium poisoning in your future, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.